As a clinician who works with young people, I find it helpful to use structured measurement tools to screen for symptoms of mental health conditions in children and youth. Watch my first video to find out why. To assess for both anxiety and depression, I use the Revised Children's Anxiety and Depression Scale, or the RCADS. It's currently free, validated, and recommended by an international group of experts. The RCADS is designed for children and youth 8 to 18 years old with at least a third grade reading level. There's also a parent version. It's often helpful to get both the youth and parent perspective. I also get parents or caregivers to fill out the RCADS if children are younger than 8 or have difficulties completing the form. There's both a long and short version of the RCADS. I'm pretty lucky. I have the RCADS embedded in the electronic health record I use, so I can pull it up with just a few clicks. But you can also hand out printed copies. Once all questions are answered, the responses are summed to an overall anxiety score and an overall depression score. If you use the long version, you can also compute separate scores for five more specific anxiety disorders. To know how severe symptoms are, you can convert the RCAT score into what's called a standardized T-score. This T-score helps you understand how the young person's symptom levels relate to those of youth with the same school grade and gender in the general population. If this T-score is 65 or higher, the child or youth may experience clinical depression or anxiety. Only 6% of young people in the general population have scores this high. There are some things the RCADS doesn't ask about. You may need to use additional questionnaires to assess for bipolar disorder, suicidal thoughts or behavior, post-traumatic stress disorder, substance use disorder, trauma, selective mutism, or any other disorders that are not directly related to depression and anxiety. Always use your clinical judgment to complement RCAD scores and consider other factors such as the young person's culture, support system, and ability to function. You can track change in symptoms by having youth or parents complete the RCADs repeatedly over the course of treatment. RCAD scores can then help you determine if youth are responding to treatment, have gone into remission, have recovered, or relapsed. Ideally, all this scoring will be done automatically by your electronic system. If you're not set up that way, go to the developer's website. They provide an Excel sheet to help you do the scoring yourself. So, why do I use the RCADs? It's free, validated, developed specifically for children and youth, able to assess both anxiety and depression symptoms, which often occur together, able to capture both youth and parent perspectives, able to detect change and help me make treatment decisions, and it's recommended by international experts. For more information on these points, check out our quick guide to the RCADs and other resources linked in the description below.